So, here we are again. I've been sat waiting in reception all morning. What took you so long? We have other priorities aside from Mr Tate's disappearance. And you might have come here voluntarily, but you are under caution. Fine. Crack on. Twelve thirty-one. DC Mead and interviewing Kane Dingle. Solicitor Mr. Drake in the room. Mr. Dingle, assuming you haven't taken up landscape gardening, could you tell us why you were found shoveling earth from a rectangular hollow as you might find in a cemetery? I've already told you. For the tape. I got a text from Noah saying that he was in trouble, so I went to find him. There was a hole in the ground with a phone in it. Can I remind you that Mr Dingle is here of his own volition? There was no grounds for arrest or, indeed, any evidence to suggest the crime has been committed. No human remains, no trace of a body. Yeah, and you've seen my phone, so you know I'm telling the truth. Text from Noah Dingle at 17.15. I'm in home farm woods and I'm scared and lost. I think someone's after me. Which confirms my client's account. You've wasted enough of his time. I think an apology's in order. Your cooperation is noted. Makes a pleasant change, in fact. Anything to get you lot off my back. I wouldn't get too complacent. You're still very much on our radar. What's this about came in? Arrested. <sighs> DC Meaden called to talk to Noah about some text message. No, he wasn't arrested. He went there this morning to help them with their inquiries. Did I hear the police caught your husband on my land? And this had nothing to do with you, of course. Aren't you a bit old to be playing games, Kim? <sighs> I wish you would stop doing this to me. You all right? Yeah, I've been waiting all morning. I was only in there five minutes, and they let me go. Well, what did the police think you were doing? <sighs> Moving Joe's body, I suppose. And you told them that it was a blatant set-up by Kim Tate? Right, look, he says he has nothing to do with any message, all right? Tell him. She must have nicked my phone out my pocket. Denied it to my face as well. She's a snake, that's why. And who's the idiot for going up there? I was seeing Graham. I wasn't in on it, I promise. Never thought you were, mate. Great, well, that's settled. Come on, back to school now. What about my phone? I just bought a new foot again for it. We'll get it back. You just stay away from her, yeah? Come on. Thanks. See ya. 